Hey guys, Luca here. Welcome back to another PvP build, a range bomb build, but this time with my Magicka Sorcerer. I use the exact same setup like on my Magicka Nightblade with the new set Dark Convergence on the back bar, Vicious Death on the front bar, Malakad to empower both proc sets, and Balorg. We can easily proc Dark Convergence with our ultimate, Negate. And with our mines, the sword mines, let me demonstrate you the bomb rotation first before we go on to the build and to the skills. Let's go. The bomb rotation is pretty easy, similar to my Magicka Nightblade. Use a ground skill AoE, in this case the Dead with Tombs. If you have Negate up your ultimate, just use Negate. Place it on top of a Zerg or just stacked group. Then bar swap to your front bar if the enemies are getting pulled. And then you basically spam firing until vicious death procs. And then boom, as you can see in the video, multiple targets will explode. A nasty firework explosion. Here we go with the build back bar like I said before dark convergence I'm still using the restoration stuff you could also go with the sword and board with lightning stuff inferno stuff if you prefer it doesn't really matter to be honest then front bar vicious death if you prefer lightning stuff go for it I still like the inferno more then mana cut to empower both proc sets and balorg as monster set on the body, full divines. On the jewelry, full infuse spell damage. Front bar, a shock damage enchantment with sharpened for extra penetration. And back bar, a defending resto with the berserker glyph. Quick look on the skills. I still use the Twilight Matriarch as heal pet. It's super powerful. It eats between 7 to 14k group AoE here. Phew, it's really nasty. Then the resistance buff bound the storm for major resolve and major expedition. The firing our spammable crystal fragment, that's my flex spot here. You could even go with a fighter skill ability like Camouflage Hunter for minor berserk and next spell damage or with Inner Light or Max Magica or something else. Then Streak, our mobility skill, a must have for Sorcerer. Dawnbreaker, just unmorphed, I only use it for the extra spell damage. Then Backbar, two shields, Hardened Ward and Dampen Magic. Then the Matriarch again, we have to slot it on both bars. Deadwick Tomp. To be able to proc Dark Convergence if we don't have our Suppression Fear that will negate up. And Dark Conversion just for sustain. Race, I am High Elf for extra spell damage, Max Magicka and Magicka and Stamina Region. Mundus, I use the Apprentice for extra spell damage, Lava is also possible. And as buff food, the Clockwork Citrus Fili. 20 points in health and 44 points in Magicka. Potions, I use two different potions. Most of the time the spare power potions with Magicka, Sorcery and Major Prophecy. Or the tricep potions with health, Magicka and Stamina. Quick look on the CPs. Blue ones, Biting Aura to empower Vicious Death and Dark Conversions and our Firing. Master at Arms, same stuff here. Wrathful Strikes for extra spell damage. And Occult Overload for the 4k Oblivion damage if an enemy dies. A Celebrity for extra movement speed. Shield Master, Bastion, and Slippery. Now, with some gameplay footage with my PvP boys, I had a lot of fun with this build with multiple Dark Convergions and with Vicious Death. <sighs> it's fucking awesome. Trust me, guys, you should use it. 
especially against bigger groups, if they are stacked, it's just powerful. Last I got that sinking, sinking in my stomach from that life. And of course it's got me thinking, thinking's got me flummoxed from the cars. I just wanna know why. Here we are at the end of another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Ciao!